Welcome back to GDPG, everybody. What's and going on? Intangible is on floor four three. <laughs> that was not a good room to be in. In that your was defense, bad that for was me. that was a that was a roguelike room. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. He was so excited because he had a lot of really good equipment. I had a jewel dagger. I've never even got that before. It does five damage. Titanium weapons do two, and that's a big deal. Wow. Yeah, so that guy, like, literally, had I not been grabbed by that monkey just then, I would have just murdered that minotaur in one hit. Oof. Yeah, that's rough, man. Well. Hello. Gonna make another pass at it. All right. He also switched to keyboard, so he might be doing a little bit better this time around. Uh, just because Steam Controller is a little... I mean, like you said, you just weren't used to it. No, I'm not used to controllers. With the... With the crypt of Xenacrenta. We also joked about playing the, uh, the local co-op mode. <laughs> it would not go well. We're not gonna put you guys through that. I've tried it before. It's hard. It just, I imagine it'd be too chaotic. Like, is it split-screen, or do you have to stay on the same part of the screen? Um, I think you pretty much have to stay in the same part of the screen. Oh no, man. It would not work out well with you and me. We would go different ways, and I would be yelling at you, you would be yelling at me, I would never be on rhythm. Do you share the, the same coin multiplier? Uh, yes. Oh no, dude. <laughs> no. I mean, really, like... I don't, I feel like there wouldn't be any good way to balance that other than doing it that way, right? Like, if you had two separate coin multipliers, then you would only, you would choose one one fighter, and you would choose one person to just always be on rhythm. Um, well, I guess... Oh, no, you, you can totally get, cooperate and make it work, but... I guess you, you only increase have your... have people who know what they're doing. Yeah, do you increase your multiplier from combat? Is that how it works? Yep. Okay, so splitting from up the things you though, kill. Like, the amount of things you kill, not necessarily how hard they are. Uh, okay, that makes sense. So then you just have one person max out their multiplier, and then the other person just kill everyone else. Yeah. Probably how I imagine it going. So hard to do this. <laughs> we might need to turn up the volume. Yeah, we can turn up the volume. And Sorry if it sounds also... a little weird, everyone, but if anything, it'll hopefully only just be a little echoey but we don't have like super high quality shotgun microphones so there's only so much we can do someday Ooh. man someday Ooh, that's a pretty dagger yeah but I think I like my gold based sword damage. better real dungeon mini one Ooh, that's kind of cool I think I'll pick it up so what other mechanics in this game have we have yet to see well boss <laughs> fights are big come on Boss fights are a big thing. We've seen spells. We've seen items. Ooh. Do the monsters kind of like switch up their behaviors a lot, or do they get like more or less interesting, or do they? Or have we pretty much seen like the scope of monsters other than the boss monsters? Uh, they get very interesting. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Oh, what was that? I used cheese. Oh, right. Yeah, that you bought that. See you. Interesting that cheese is the uh It's one of them. It's food in general. Oh okay, that's fair. Is that the the exit? Um oh, those No, are just that trap was the trapdoors. Trap Where did Kate the trapdoors take you? Um down to the next level but you lose your modifi modifier. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, and this is something that I saw off while we were off camera, but um that little skull and staircase basically requires you to kill the, the bigger monster before you can go down, which I thought was interesting, because I don't think we saw that in the previous episodes. I think I because I found the boss too early. Uh, so does each floor have its its own boss? Yep, every like mini boss, like that, that dragon. That makes sense, though, honestly. I assume the, the mini boss is generally near the exit. Generally, yeah, actually. I think they're always, maybe? These guys show up um, if you're taking too long, basically. The red guys? Mm hmm. Oh, really? They're like a commander, hey, yep. Yep. Sort of reminds me of the. Um... 
Oh, you can make those guys fall down the, yep. the trap doors. That's fantastic. So, what's what do you think like the lifespan of this game is in terms of total gameplay? I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea because um, once you there's another drill dagger. Ooh. Uh, this guy. It's great. <laughs> It's hard to say because there's a lot of upgrades and crap you can get, and I haven't beat the second floor yet. Oh, wait, okay. that's not true. Wait, no. Yeah, no, I, I barely beat the second floor. And I assume even after you beat the game, there's probably still so many unlockable things that you just kind of want to keep going through it over and over until you unlock everything. Yep. Which I think is, is pretty smart, honestly. I mean, really, the real skill or, like, the real challenge comes with learning the enemy behavior. That's fair. And the, from a design perspective, the uh, I think one of the strongest things that rogue likes or rogue lights in general have is just honestly just replayability. Oh, <laughs> that's fun. Because like the random is the randomization means that you're pretty much getting a new experience every single time you play. Mm -hmm. And that's why some let's players can keep playing Binding of Isaac for like five thousand episodes and still will be interesting to watch because you never know what kind of crazy combinations you'll get. Got it this time. I kept pressing the wrong thing over and over again. Oh? Because hitting multiple buttons, I don't know. I've just become bad at this game. It's okay, man. But you are pretty... Oh, is that a new character? Yep. Like, that you can play? Mm-hmm. Nice. Well, Keys are so expensive. So, what, what are some of the other abilities that the other characters have? Um... I don't remember all of them. Uh, I know there's a monk where he actually is... who get, like, free items and stuff. But um, he gets... I think he either dies or gets damaged the moment he picks up any amount of uh, gold. <laughs> because he's supposed to live a life of, like, no greed. Right, right. <laughs> An aesthetic, I think, is the term. That's, that's actually... Really fun mechanic that I feel like. Oh, you are kidding me! Ooh. Fucking monkeys! Oh. So, what do the monkeys do? They just like grab onto you, so you can't attack. Yeah, you can't move. You mm. can't attack, and then well, you you're attacking move. them. So you're attacking them instead, and that's why that guy just hit me three oh, times man. in a row and just killed me. That's pretty harsh. I feel like. Whoa, I... that's weird. The music just stops. Yeah. Huh. But we got five gems this time, guys. You should. We should try a new character. Let's see. Let's switch if it up. I have any. Well, you just got one, didn't you? Did I? No, no. That wasn't like a new playable character. Oh, that's like another. Yes. Uh, like upgrade kind of deal. <laughs> he's uh, he's say. like one of these other rooms that you can get to. Oh, okay. I assume here, you unlock other uh, playable right characters here. the same way. I think. Uh, oh. So wait, the first floor will get you let's, somebody. Let's let's explore one of the bosses. Sure. Well, you just went to the I'll mini boss. I'll purchase it, but that's okay. I have four gems, so I can do that. So let's say um, that you really want to practice against a. Well, uh, you're in the mini bosses right now. Let's let's actually see one of the the bosses. If I can, because I haven't even got to one of the bosses. But if 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 I mean, hopefully I can, because that would be. Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So my favorite Definitely. one is either. King Konga I'd like, but I don't remember Deep Blues. I don't... It's the names are throwing me off. There's one that's a chess set. Oh, really? Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna guess that um, we're gonna do this Deep Blues one. Okay. And just see what happens. I assume you unlock the other ones once you get to the, the later floors. Oh, but there's like a mystery boss too. Yeah. I wonder if you get that if you like. So there's the upgraded versions of them, and then. Uh, so I wonder if the mystery, mystery boss is maybe like there's a secret path, or a secret like. Honestly, I don't know. I've never a lot. Some of these updates are very new to me. Mm. So like that jewel dagger, for instance, I've never seen. I, I mean, I'm sure that might have been been around for a while. I've never seen it before. Yeah, that's fair. So well, were you playing it in, when it was still in early access? Um, yes, I played it the moment it hit early access, mm -hmm. and the game's come a long way since. So we're going to do the Conga one, because I like the Conga one, and it's just very entertaining. 
Ooh, so I'm excited. It's very subtle. Watch the beat. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh man, that makes this a lot more complicated. It says warning, conga line in progress. <laughs> Oh no. Wow, sorry, I'm like engrossed in this right now. But I imagine they can make some really complicated beats later on. Like, to the point where I have no idea how you could like keep with the rhythm. I feel like you just have to really learn the songs at that point. Yeah. God, that conga line. So is I assume the dude wearing the crown is is the boss. Yes, and every time you hit him, you deal damage to him. Um, but he'll go back to his starting position. Okay, yeah, I noticed he disappeared, and I was like, I feel like you killed him a lot faster than I expected. <laughs> also, since this is training, it's I find it interesting that they don't let you uh, have any like upgraded equipment. I think there is some way I can access it. Oh yeah. Because by the time you actually fight this guy, you probably are gonna oh, have he can a decent amount diagonal. of diagonal. Oh wow. I guess you can kinda do that with the right weapons though. But yeah, by the time you reach him, you're probably gonna have a lot of like good good loots. <laughs> Did you just kill him? Bombs are so powerful. Wow! And no the moment kidding. he died, everything disappeared. And so normally when you do this, there's just a stretch of treasure. Or you go down here, and there's a uh, stretch of treasure right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it just restarts. Oh, it just pipe. loops. Huh, that's pretty cool. And so basically, yeah, you can practice against bosses. Yeah. That's nice. Well, it's a shame that we couldn't see a boss the natural way, but I'm still glad that we got a chance to actually see it before we uh, stop recording these. Yeah, so it's... <laughs> Jeez, that's, no. that's, that's, that's it for this episode. Um. <laughs> so, yeah. I, uh, so, uh, fun. That, yeah, that's all we're going to record for now. Um, though, if you guys really want to see us play more, we will happily play more, so be sure to vote for it. Um, I'll have to go day, practice though. it again and stuff like that and <laughs> actually get good at the game. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, question of the day, I want to ask about the bosses. Um... I wish I could show you the other ones. It's so cool. You're going to have to go look them up. There's a chess set. It's so cool. Um, I don't even remember. I, I almost always end up fighting the Congo one, so I, I yeah. don't remember the other ones very well. So maybe maybe the question is, what are your favorite bosses if you have one, if you play this game? So what is your favorite boss and why? And if you haven't played this game, what kind of bosses would you design for this game? Seeing the way that they did that boss, how it wasn't just like a one-on-one -on -one fight, it was about surmounting some type of obstacle, what would be a cool mechanic to have with a rhythm-based game roguelike like this? Yes, let's go with that one. Yeah, I was just an expansion on the... It was a better I, I question. Mine's fair. better than his. Wow. Wow. <laughs> well done. Dun, 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 Like, subscribe, dude, dude, yeah. dude. Uh, do, hopefully, do, 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 do. come like us. Do, 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 do. We're awesome. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next series. I wrote or this song. Or in more, yes. I didn't write this song. Ah, ah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>